Well, tonight we're learning more about the disappearance of a Spokane woman and how major crimes detectives were able to solve this well-concealed murder. Yesterday, police recovered what appears to be the remains of 27-year-old Ramona Childress in a wooded area near Elk. Detectives arrested her ex-boyfriend, Jason Flett, and now we're learning how he threatened others to keep it secret. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey joins us now live in the studio with the latest. Jeff? Nadine, it's called a free talk, and if you have information about your minimal involvement in a much more serious crime where someone else is the more culpable suspect, sometimes you can cut a deal with the police to avoid prosecution. In this case, the free talk led investigators to what are likely Ms. Childress's remains. There were at least three people parked on this dirt road the night Jason Flett allegedly buried his ex-girlfriend's body in this stand of fir trees. But it wasn't until earlier this week that the son of the man that owns most of this 90-acre spread finally spoke up. One of those witnesses told police he helped um, bury uh, Childress on this property, so we're at this property right now searching for, for her. The day before detectives began digging for Ramona's remains, that witness was standing in the same spot with his attorney. The young man had successfully traded his year-long secret to avoid prosecution, and the victim's brother says he's reasonably okay with a free talk deal. He has been the only uh the only puzzle piece that we've had that's, that's come to any real conclusion so far. So, uh, you know, in the world of, of give and take, I guess this is this is what we get to uh, to work with and, uh, and we're gonna work with that. The other person allegedly watching Flett bury his ex-girlfriend was his current girlfriend. Police say Flett recently repaid her silence by beating her with a crowbar. The murder victim's family isn't surprised nor sympathetic. I do believe that whatever her role was and her witness in it, uh, you know, she'll be brought to justice as well, and and hopefully we'll have uh, we'll have another social deviant that will be off the streets and won't be able to hurt anybody. Police think Childress was stabbed to death somewhere else. So now the question is, did the new girlfriend witness the actual killing, or could she lead them to the murder scene? That is undoubtedly what major crimes detectives are working on right now. In the meantime, Flood is being held in lieu of a million-dollar bond. Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. Oh.